Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate a candle flame in Moho 12. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to do is make a new layer. And we are going to call it candle. Um, so um, obviously um, you're free to create the candle like you want, but this is how I like to draw it. So what I do, I take the rectangle tool. Um, choose, yeah, the, uh, the draw shape tool, I'm sorry, and choose rectangle. Um, and we don't need an auto stroke, so that's good. And then we are going to choose a color. And I'm going to choose this color right here, or maybe this one for the candle. Uh, maybe make it a bit more darker. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So I zoom in a little bit. And I just draw a rectangle right here there we go now I want to make it as a round object of course so what I do um, I take the add point tool and I make the points visible by clicking right here and I zoom in and I just click right here so that a point is created then I take the transform points tool and with that I click on this point and I move it up like this and then I take the curvature tool and then I click on it, um, hold my mouse and move to the right so that it moves like this. So that way it gets like a round object. Um, then finally, um, I'm going to take the draw shape tool again. And what I'm going to do is draw a, a uh, something that looks like a light uh, reflecting on the edge so that it more looks like a round object. So I go to the style panel and I move this thing a little bit to the left so that the color changes just a little bit. Maybe a bit more. There we go. Click OK. Then with the draw shape tool I draw a rectangle again like this. Then I take the add point tool and add two points on these lines here. Then I select these points and I move them like this. Take the curvature tool and I'm going to do the same thing again as I did before so that it's uh, exactly as this one right here. So yeah, I think this is good. Uh, that, that way it really looks like a round candle. Uh, but like I said, you are free to draw it however you want. Um, then I'm going to draw the wick um, where the flame will be uh, burning on. So I take the add point tool. And so we are going to draw a stroke for it. And we need, of course, a stroke color, which is black, which is good. Uh, I make the points visible again. And what I do is uh, just draw a line right here like this then I take the paint bucket tool and I click on it and there we go then we have a wig then finally we are going to uh, create the flame for that I'm going to make a new layer we call it flame and um, we take the draw shape tool again uh, but this time we choose the oval and of course we have to pick a color and I'm going to choose orange and there's no need for an auto stroke here as well so what I do is right here I'm just going to draw a round oval like this make the points visible again and I'm going to put it right here maybe like this and then I'm going to select this point and I think I'm going to make it a little bit sharper. So what I do, I with the curvature tool, I click on it, hold it and then move to the left so it gets pointy. Like this. So, yeah, like this, then I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There we go, like this. So then if I click on preview by control R, it looks like this. Um, now I'm not satisfied with this flame yet, so what I do is I'm going to take the select shape tool, 
select this flame, go to effect, and go to soft edge. And here you can change the blur ra radius, which is what this is. Uh, this is how we want the flame to look, but um, I don't want it to be 11. I think that's too much. So, I, so I'm going to change it to 3, like this. Now, you don't see anything right now, but if I click on Preview, maybe I'll just show it like this. Go to Preview or Control R. You can already see it. It, it really has a blur radius on it. Um, so that's how you uh, draw the, the candle and the flame. Finally, to animate the flame, since it's burning, and uh, which means it's mostly moving, um, all you need to do is... Um, Go to the timeline and let's go to frame six. And what we do with the transform points tool, we select it and we just move it just like this. There we go. Then we go to frame 12 and we just copy. We select these keyframes and we go to edit, copy, edit and paste so it goes from up and down and now that I look at it I'm going to make it a little, little less big not too much I think. okay so yeah that will be good um, now you can just copy these keyframes and go through all to the entire timeline, but there's a far more easier way to do it. Uh, what you do, you select the last keyframes, you click with your right mouse on the keyframes, and then you click on cycle, and this appears right here. Uh, you, all you have to do is just click this away, and you see that the keyframes have been created to arrows, and if you uh, would play, it looks like this. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make my own animations. I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching guys.